Marcia Dubransky's first novel, Twins, a 2005 New York Times Editor's Choice pick, uh, was just released in paperback. And oh, also pay careful attention because I'm going to do trivia and I, I have two copies of her book to give away. Uh, a McDowell Fellow, Marcy is the winner of the 2002 Small Mouth Press Andre Dubis Novella Award. And the, sorry, I can't say. <laughs> and the 1999 Story Magazine Carson McCullers Short Story Prize. Her short stories have appeared in numerous literary journals, including McSweeney's, the Alaska Quarterly Review, and the Indiana Review. She reviews independent and foreign film for About.com. Marcy is not an identical twin. And you can find out more about her at MarcyDermansky.com. I'm reading the sex scene, the big sex scene for my novel, so therefore I have to jump right into the middle of the story. <laughs> Chloe wouldn't like it that I was here with her friend, but now it was Chloe who was left out. Chloe drives me crazy, Lisa said. She's so fucking boring, and I know I've got to forget about her, but I just can't. Chloe drives you crazy, I said. I was surprised. I tried to look at Lisa's face, but she caught me looking, so I turned my head away. What's it like to be a twin, Lisa said. I shook my head. Haven't you asked Chloe? I want to hear what you have to say. I would never tell you, I said. I don't even like you. <laughs> Lisa Markman nodded. Like I care, she said. Do you know how many people are out there who worship me? <laughs> how many? Lisa looked at her fingers. 62, she said. <laughs> You made that up. 82? I don't know. When I was on the runway, she used to model, I could see those eyes, rows and rows of them, people worshipping me. Lisa suddenly rolled onto her stomach, inching her way over to me, her butt in the air. She slid her hand under my sweater. Why do you rub your back all the time? Do you also have a tattoo? I was proud of my tattoo. I lifted the back of my sweater so she could see. Chloe, Lisa said scooting over until she was right next to me. She put her finger on my back, tracing the letters. I felt a shiver go down my spine. I saw Chloe's tattoo in Hawaii when she was getting changed. Her hand was going up and down my back, softly under my sweater. I closed my eyes. Right now, she said, I'm rubbing your back and I'm pretending that you're Chloe. <laughs> I like that. I like the idea of being Chloe. I look like Chloe, I said. You're identical to her. You have princess hair, Sue. Is this nice, Lisa said. She leaned forward and put her lips on my back, right on top of my tattoo. Do you like this? I wanted her hand to go further, spreading that feeling of softness all over my body. Call me Chloe, I said. <laughs> Chloe, Lisa said. Beautiful Chloe. Lift your arms. Lisa said my sweater up over my shoulders, over my head. I was looking directly at a glossy photo of Lisa wearing red lipstick, a trench coat open to her belly button, and knee-high leather boots. I liked it better when my eyes were closed. I hated Lisa Markman. I had hated her for years. <laughs> I crossed my arms over my flat chest. I'd never bothered to wear a bra. I didn't have anything to cover myself with. Don't, Lisa said. You are so beautiful, Chloe. I closed my eyes. Lisa Markman kissed my neck. I wanted to do this for so long. She cupped her hand under my chin, lift tilting my face to hers. With my eyes closed, I knew what to do. Lisa Markman slid her tongue into my mouth. This was what it was like for Chloe to get kissed. Lisa Markman and I lay back together on the bed. I love kissing, she said. Lisa rolled me over onto my side. She put her hand on my chest. She felt my nipple with her fingers. I squeezed my legs closer together. I was trembling. You'll let me touch you, won't you, Chloe? Lisa Markman's hand moved down to my stomach. A soft moan escaped me. I adore you, Chloe, Lisa said. You do? I opened my mouth to be kissed some more. I felt sick with jealousy. This was how Lisa wanted to touch Chloe. She wanted to possess her, steal her away. I did not know how I could bear it when Chloe would really leave me, pack her bags and go far away. She was still set on going to college. 
Lisa licked the tears as they slid down my cheeks. I reached for her hand and put it between my legs. Thank you. <laughs>